All right, so I'm not exactly sure when this adventure season ends, but I've heard that it might end on April 5th. And if that's true, only gives us about a week and a half to get things done. So be sure to finish your venture season out, right? Level up to level 50 and finish all your ventures quests so that you get all the superchargers. Um, but I also wanted to make this video to tell people to get Stoneheart Farah if they haven't already. Um, because she is available from this no dancing quest line right now. And when the venture season rotates, then these quest lines go with it. So if you miss it, then you're going to have to wait another year for her to come back or, or you could use a hero voucher on her but why would you do that when she's readily available now uh, this isn't a long quest line it's only two pages and you get her here so um, you know be sure to get her uh, because she is arguably one of the strongest heroes in the game if not the strongest i mean you can do things with her that you just can't with other heroes like the other day i was helping somebody with their twine peaks storm shield 10 defense and, you know, their base wasn't, like, fully built out and trapped out. And they were AFK the whole time. So I soloed it with just Stoneheart Farah. And I'm pretty sure I could not have done that with any other hero. So just to show how strong she is, I'm going to solo a 160 with her. And I'll try to use, you know, minimal traps. Just so it's not like, hey, you spammed a bunch of traps. You could have done that with any hero. So uh, the loadout I'm going to use is uh, Stoneheart Farah in the lead, and I'll use a 130 version of her, so it's not like, hey, she was supercharged, that's why she's so strong. Um, uh, totally rocking out Team Perk. Um, Skull Ranger Ramirez, uh, because, you know, after every bow shot, you uh, reload, which this just gives you a flat 15% damage buff then. Uh, Redlined Ramirez, increase our sniper damage. Uh, Rabbit Raider Jonesy, increase our bow crit damage. And then Breakbeat Wildcat and Varsity Hero. You know, I don't want to waste time harvesting wafers, and I need all my weapon slots anyway for the Xenon Bow, the Baron, and the Potshot. Um, gadgets, I'll just use, you know, turret and adrenaline rush. Alright, and so my weapons, I'm going to use, um, here's my Xenon Bow. It's just your standard um, energy, reload, fire rate, crit damage, crit rating, affliction. And then my pot shot, I'm actually going to use this pot shot, um, not, not my normal one. I'll use this one, it's perked like this. Um, double crit damage, because I'm using totally rocking out. Uh, reload speed, damage to miss monsters and bosses, and energy damage. Um, you know, because smashers in high twine are often elemental, so this will end up doing more damage than my physical one. Um... Six perk, it doesn't really matter. It's, I have a snare on it. You could have, I don't know, Affliction if you want. I just didn't want to waste the Cory perk. All right, so let's load up the 160 Evacuate the Shelter and show what Stoneheart Fair can do. Okay, so like I said earlier, what I'm going to do for this mission is try not to use too many traps so that I could show how strong Stoneheart Farah is. I'm just going to clear out this real quick. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with. Um, yeah, they can get back here. So I'm just gonna block this backside off so I don't have to worry about it. And I'll block this ramp using the double stairs trick. And they can't get up on this rock, so we don't have to build up there. 
let's just finish wrapping our shelter um, like we normally do. Let's clear out some of this stuff so that it doesn't get in our way when we're fighting. Alright, let's ramp up, build our roof, just like we normally do for evacuate the shelter. You want to always have a roof so that the lobbers and pitchers and flingers can't um, just pitch directly onto your shelter. And let's just fully block off this backside so we don't have to worry about it at all. Alright, this should be good enough for here. You don't have to go crazy with your block offs. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna trap this up just a bit. Um, in case we start to get overwhelmed, then and these these drop traps will push them back. This wall launcher will keep them off the wall. Now, we shouldn't really need that. It's just in case of emergencies, but we should be fine. Alright, where else do we need to block off? So he's got spawns there, spawns up on that ridge. Let's get rid of these animals. Alright, spawns over there. Okay. Um, let's block this ramp off and have him go up that double ramp over there. You know, with Stoneheart Farah, um, the, the, the tighter you make the choke point, um, the better she is. Like if you can squeeze them to a really tight choke point, you can just unload on them with your Xenon bow. Okay, so I'm going to... Let's clear this out. I'm gonna tighten this um, choke point. It's too big right now, so let's Let's block this off and squeeze him to a smaller choke point. Let's make him go on the other side of this rock over here. All right, that should be good. Let's just upgrade. Alright, and we're gonna make um, we're gonna make this our our point of entry. Um yeah. Let's just squeeze this to a one by one. There we go. Trap it up a bit. Nothing crazy. All right, and that should be good for that whole side. You know, you don't have to go crazy with your trapping. Like you see other people do just like a million freeze traps and ceiling electric fields and stuff. Like that's, it's totally unnecessary. Like if you just trap it efficiently, you'll be fine. block off this other side of the ramp so we force them up one way. Our wall darts will still shoot through this, don't worry. Put some sound walls on here for the uh, propanes. Just edit a hole in those walls so that your wall darts behind them will shoot through. Let's just put some floor spikes there to slow them down up the ramp. Just upgrade up a little bit. All 
I'll slap some anti airs down so that this stupid low lobbers can't just keep pitching those smoke bombs at us from from back there. All right, we're gonna have to squeeze um, the side with the other spawns. Yeah, let's let's trim this this way as so much as we can. Just gotta worry about those spawns that are up on that ridge. Oops. Yeah, if they drop down, we'll just have them get hosed by this. Just squeeze this right here. Yeah, I'll drop down in there and just get wiped out. And then, yeah, all right. Yeah, so. Floor spikes just to slow them down a bit. Nothing too crazy. A couple gas traps, and we should be fine. This is enough. Alright, oh, the spawn's up there. Let's see. I want them to drop down in there. And not there. Hmm. Well, let's see if this holds. If not, we can just figure something out on the fly. this off a little bit. Let's make sure we upgrade our stuff. Okay. That should be pretty good for our trapping. Put some anti-airs so that we don't have to worry about lovers. Let's reinforce this wall just in case. minute upgrades before it starts. All right, let's do this. Oh, I almost forgot um, tar pits. So once the smashers clear those trap tunnels, we want them to get stuck in the tar. Oh, crap. Well, that block off didn't hold. Sorry, let's just give him a, a way to get down. That's not, that's not a big deal.
Ooh. Oh. That's what happens when you underestimate a blaster with no bomb squad Kyle on your loadout. And let's not make that mistake again. Hey, how did you guys get back here? Oop, forgot to block this off. Alright, let's just block this off quickly. Try not to worry about that anymore. Showing me his mods. Oh, jeez, I bet he has ricochet. Ouch. All right, well, let's just let's just dance around the tar pits. Ouch. That ricochet is going to be annoying. Just try to avoid shooting him. Grab this football to trigger T arrow. Finish off the smasher. T just unload on the choke point with Farah, and <laughs> nothing gets through. Just gotta make sure you watch out for those smashers. I'm just gonna let these smashers clear the tunnel so I can hit them with my pot shots. Alright, see, pretty easy when you're rocking Stoneheart Farah. And as always, if you guys like this content and want to support me, uh, please use code Diggy in the item shop. I really appreciate it. And uh, for those who have already used my creator code, um, thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.